Let us now understand how do you calculate interest on drawings of fixed amount which are made on the last day of every month. Okay, and there's a fixed rate of interest which you are given. So let's read the question first. Jack made drawings of rupees 30,000 on the last day of every month. Okay, on which interest is to be calculated at the rate of 10% per annum. What would be the amount of interest due on such drawings? Assume a calendar year. So basically what is happening here is that this gentleman Jack, right, who's making drawings of rupees 30,000 on the last day of every month, right? You're told you have to assume a calendar year. Okay. So effectively what you are told is, let's say the first drawing is made on January 31 the second one on February 28, the third one on March 31 and so on until you reach the end of the year on December 31 when the drawings are made. Each of these drawings are worth rupees 30,000. Okay and so on for each of the month until we reach on December 31 right so what's the total amount of drawings that are done since you are drawing with drawing 30,000 at the end of every month there are 12 months so the total drawings made are 30,000 into 12 or 3 lakh 60,000 right now if you were given only one of these drawings what will you do you will see what is the period for which you've used this right so let's say for example January 31 is when you made the drawing the year has ended on what date it ends on December 31 right it's true for each one of these drawings right so what is the period for which you've used these drawings the period you have used is January 31 until December 31 or 11 months right the long method is you take each of these drawings Calculate the period for which these drawings have been used, okay, and then add up the interest. So let's say, for example, you calculate on 30,000 for 11 months at the rate of 10% per annum, which is given to you, okay, and you get interest in respect of this single drawing. Similarly, you get the interest for each of these drawings, add up the total, and calculate the total interest on drawings. But there is a shorter method of doing the same thing right and that is applicable when two conditions are satisfied one the drawings amount which you make this column is fixed right and the time gap between two drawings so let's say between these two drawings from January 31 to February 28 there's a time gap of one month similarly between February 28 and March 31 there's a time gap of one month so when the drawings amount are fixed when the time gap between two drawings are fixed then you can also calculate the total interest on drawings by using this variable right and I'll come back to how do you calculate so what do you do you take the total drawings you multiply it by rate of interest okay the time period that you take here is going to be five and a half months right now the only variable that is to be comprehended here is how do you calculate this five and a half months and you need not calculate this in every question right but I'm just telling you how we have arrived at this five and a half months obviously total drawings we have to take that into consideration for the simple reason that we have to calculate interest on each and every drawings rate of interest in any case that is constant right let's see how do you get this five and a half year the first drawing that you did you were used it for 11 months the second drawing that you did how many months did you use it you used this for 10 months February 28 until December 31 from here to here this period is December 31 in all the cases similarly this one for 9 months then 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and this December one which you did on December 31 this is for zero months right 
if you do a sum of all this you will get 66 right so what we do is that actually we are calculating interest on each of the 30,000 for 11 months because this amount is constant so effectively what we can do is we can take the average of months over here so 66 is the total number of months how many months do we have in a year 12 66 divided by 12 is going to give you five and a half or you can also write it as 11 by 2 right so what we do is on this total drawing that we did we calculate interest for an average period right now this average period which is five and a half can also be calculated by using the following formula which says time left after first drawing plus time left after last drawing divided by 2 so after first drawing how much was the time like first drawing was made on January 31 11 months is what is left plus how much is time left after last drawing last drawing is on December 31 so the time is 0 months 0 divided by 2 or 5 and a half months right if you want you can just note it down I'll stand for a second out here but the only thing you need to be cautious here again I'm pointing it out at the cost of repetition is that the amount of drawings and the time gap between these drawings has to be fixed if it is not fixed you cannot use either this or this right let me just kind of erase this particular piece because we need to calculate our uh, delete right let me get back to the original color so how much is the total drawings which are made 30,000 into 6 or 3,60,000 30,000 into 12 sorry into rate of interest 10% into 5 and a half was 11 upon 2 into 12 so 1 1 1 1 right 2 divided by this will give you 18,000 let me use a different color maybe here and 12 to knock off 18,000 is going to give you 1500 1500 into 11 or 16,500 which is your answer right so this was fairly simple no rocket science just apply this formula and you get the interest on drawings We've also understood how we arrived at this period. Right? I hope you would have liked this video. If you have, you can hit the like button at the bottom. If you do not like this video, please also hit the dislike button. That will help us improve on this. Any specific feedback, you have the column. Right? If you feel there are your other friends who are looking for some kind of a free education, you're most welcome to get them along with you as well in the next video. Thank you very much for your time and we'll hope to look to have you in many more such videos. This video is brought to you by iidubook.com. You can also visit us for a lot many videos on math, science and other subjects. Thank you.